Hey, Jenny Jones here, Digital Growth Hacks Club. All right, listen, so I put together another famous hack pack for you. Um, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like, subscribe. I'm always looking at different tools, different LTD tools, trying to see if we can match them together, put together some different um, setups to help you increase your bottom line for mostly for you entrepreneurs out there trying to look to try to make the difference in your business. All right, so listen, I'm looking through a lot of tools here. I mean, on AppSumo here, and I got to tell you, it's 850 tools that I see here. If I just browse software, right? Then if I do another, if I go to AppSumo select, it breaks it down to another 116 tools. But what I want to do is I want to go back here. There's some tools in here. There's some hidden gems in here. And I want to go ahead and give you four of them. And I want to take you on a journey with them, right? And I'm not going to show you here. I'll show you if you are a member of my community and or SAS Use Case TV, how I interconnected all four of them together. But I'm just going to give you vision with them. And, and um, I'm going to allow you to put them together on your own, right? But um, as I go deeper into the videos, I think it's going to be, um, it's worthy for me to start seeing the return of my value on some of the things that I'm giving out. Most people think I make money from ads, um, but that's just not true. There's ads playing on my channel, but I do not have enough uh, views on the videos because they're always short. So the views don't allow me to, to generate any revenue. So all these different ads you see playing on my channel, I don't generate any revenue on. So now that some of the, um, um, now that some of the payouts are changing from some of these uh, different uh, software providers and all that, I have to be able to compensate my time that I spend. So that's the reason why I created a community. If, it's a very small fee if you want to be a part of that, if you want to see me dive deeper and do an extensive on some of these videos, um, then you can um, sign up for that. It should be a link for that below. But let me just kind of give you, let me just get you going. And there's four tools here if you're an agency, right? If you're not an agency or you want to start an agency, these four tools will help you. Or if you're a quasi agency, quasi run your own business, I think this is a this is a good opportunity, but I think these four tools, if you are an agency, are a must have. Now let's go ahead and get into them. I'm going to break down each one of them for you and kind of give you the pros and cons of each one. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so one of the first tools we're going to look at is Impulse.ai, right? And so I, I want to keep this video a little bit short, but I just want to get the wheels in your head turning, right? It's it's called Impulse.ai. Somebody gave it a a three reviews because the guy didn't read what they actually was offering. And the best part, and the reason why I say that is because what you're gonna see here is the best part where this particular tool takes off and really becomes the best is at uh, license tier three because they're gonna give you access to the influencer database of 250 um, million plus interviewers, right? That's key, the person, I think they got a tier one and they thought they would get access to that. So they gave it a low, they gave it a low score, which, but this is a five taco tool, right? I'm going to go deeper on this particular tool, but what it does is it allows you to look up influencers from Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitch. And it gives you a full blown analysis of how many, uh, what's trending, what hashtags are using to trend with and so on and so forth. What you can actually do as an agency is use a tool like this and influence, um, get another company to become a client of yours. Now, I would, and this is not, maybe you can use this for a high-end uh, agency or you can be a small agency on the grow and you're trying to work and develop relationships with smaller companies and you want to tell them who their influencers are. You can use your database, your technology, you can use the analytics of this particular tool, right? And to find uh, different influencers um, to use this type of tool. This is all the back down it gives you. And what they actually do is they have a plug and it gives you all the breakout. And from here also, you can run campaigns to reach out to them. Now, what you may be asking is, okay, so why would I do that, right? Or how could I do that? You can do that in a couple different ways. You can use that, you can use their back end. They have a lightweight CRM, right? And then what you can do is you could, um, you could actually use a Bitly integration. You can actually for shortener 
for a URL shortener and you can manage the workflows and you can track link clicks. So you can actually from here, you can actually um, create your own trackable links too to see if they're clicking on any of that. So, and then you can stream real influencer data, engagement rate and audience analysis, and you can get all of that. But it really the power in this tool starts at a tier three, right? And if you're an agency, your first deal would cover this cost easily, right? And then so tier four gives you the white labeling. If you're going to do this tool and you want to do it right, then you really would need to go with a tier four, right? There'll be a link in description below for the entire hack pack. This is my week's hack pack. When I give you a hack pack, you can put all, uh, all the tools that I have in a hack pack together to create a revenue stream. And that's the secret and what I have at my with my my uh, digital growth hack my hack packs so if you use all four of these tools you're going to enhance or sweeten any offer that you have existing right now again this tool should not be looked at unless to me as a minimum of a license of a tier four i actually looked at the way this deal is structured i like this deal the way it's structured some people may say oh they should give away more this deal is structured for survivability and it gives the founders opportunity to survive beyond uh, LTD, right? I like what they're doing here. So again, the name of this tool, again, is it's uh, Impulse, right? Dot AI. That's your first tool. You must have this tool. Take a look at it. I'm going to probably go do another deeper dive on it, but it's in my hack pack. You can find a link in there in the description there. You can pick that up for a one-time deal. Um, also... Replick, right? Replique. I think it's called Reply Q. Reply. I think they call it something re Replick for short. But another tool, not getting a lot of love. A lot of people don't know about it. But what this tool does, you can use that tool that I just showed you, right? You can use this particular tool that I just showed you. But if you wanted to send a personalized link to the influencer and let them know that you have someone that that you would want them to endorse, or they want you to, to endorse, or you're trying to impress the actual influencer, you can go to their LinkedIn profile, you can create a video, you can go to their YouTube profile, create a video, you can go to their website, create a video, use their video in the background, send it to them via email or via LinkedIn. This is more of a LinkedIn type of tool. Um, it's for marketing agencies again. And so what you do here is you can choose the background that you wanna use. Hey, I wanna use their TikTok, I wanna use their Twitter, their LinkedIn, their uh, YouTube, Instagram, so on and so forth. You can utilize their background. So what you do is you go and you make a uh, copy of their background, speak uh, and create a video over their background and let them know, hey, we've been watching you. Here's another influencer that you might want to compete with or we found an audience that uh, we would like you to promote their products. And then you introduce the two to the, those two together. But Replique, it's Replique. I think it's Replique Q or Reply Q. I can't remember what this the name they said it was, but you have the connection. So then you find them, you find them with the Impulse, right? You can connect them because Impulse has Twitter, TikTok, IG, YouTube, or Twitch, right? If you, those are the different types of influencers you can find. You create a video with them, do it in bulk. So you find all the influencers, again, as an influencer, and um, over here is 200, database of 250 million. You can go here and send out 100 to 500 um, videos. They're all personalized for each particular video that you send out. You just upload the data and you do all of that in one fail shot and you put it all here into this one tool, right? Replique. And then what you do, the next tool I want you to show you is Break Code. This is a unique tool. These three tools that I've shown you so far, they're all unique. You haven't seen any of these tools come here in its capacity to Absum or any LTD market that I have seen. But Break Cold is a killer type of tool, right? They give you, um, and they you start tracking people, you start following people, and you, you track them in your own personal timeline, and you reach out to them. And um, you do, this has LinkedIn, Twitter, obviously, and it has a little CRM. And it's kind of an alternative to Pipe Drive because you can manage them and see what they're doing. They have their own timeline. So you can imagine following people on Twitter and or LinkedIn and having a timeline and just watching 
all of their, their tweets and all their comments. The power in this tool is you can use the, utilize the links of their actual comments and you can actually upload those links and to replete those exact same comment uh, URLs and upload them into um, and replete. You can say, hey, we noticed here on this particular comment, these people said that, or we noticed the hashtags that you're using. We, we, we want to add some more suggestions with that. And you can tie in with Replique. You can actually go in and, and do some chat GTPT because it has a chat GTPT um, uh, interface with it as well and do some additional research for them and say you found that for them. So I just gave you three right there. I'm going to give you one more. So again, we talked about Impulse. Very, very good at what it does. Very different. No one else is really doing that. I haven't seen that done. I haven't seen it done effectively. Replique. Right, I keep calling it Replique. Maybe I'm calling it the wrong name, Replique Q. Um, it's very good at what it does. Uh, very short videos. I think that it's 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 a different spin on just normal outreach. Um, this is um, definitely can be utilized for for Instagram. I mean, not Instagram, but um, LinkedIn. Then you have um, Break Cold. Very clean. Um, tool. I haven't seen anything like this tool, right? I think a good uh, purchase on this one would be a, at least a tier two, right? Um, that way you can do some cold email campaigns and you get the campaign analytics, right? Because you're going to get everything in tier one. You're going to get Zapier integration and API access, right? Okay. The API access is important because we have one more tool. As I wrap this up, we have zero work. Right, zero work is only three days left. As you look at this, I had been telling you guys about this for probably the last two months or so. But the reason why you're going to pick up zero work if you haven't already is because zero work is going to up, it's going to tie all of these together for you. It's going to do the heavy lifting for you. It's going to go do your searches for you. It's going to go pull down the information for you. It's going to pull it over. And the reason why it can do that is because these are SaaS driven tools. And now the way zero work works is it does a lot in the cloud. So if you have a cloud based tool or you have cloud based access where you got to sign into something using this software as a service, zero work is going to be able to do a lot of that heavy lifting for you. It's different from a robo motion. A robo motion is a type of tool that will be run on your as an application on your desktop and run desktop applications. I think zero work does it has a light piece to that, but most of their power is going to come from the cloud uh, cloud based um, types of tools, right? I think a lot of people know them because they use a lot of social media tools that it can get inside and do searches for you automatically. But zero work definitely, if these tools are SaaS based, zero work definitely can go in and it can tab over and it can create different um, types of scenarios for you. So all you got to do is come in once a morning, run your zero work, right? And if you're going to do zero work, obviously you're going to want to go with the uh, the tier two to give you unlimited task spots because if nothing else. If you went over and you got impulse and you wanted to run some influencer campaigns for somebody, you can actually run the campaigns for them or different uh, different um, clients and then just just have your task bot do that for you. Or you could resell your task bot that runs these influencer campaigns for you and you can resell them. So that's another way I gave you maybe four different revenue streams with this short video. But again, let's go back through them again. Impulse.ai is one. Replique uh, Q or Reply Q is uh, the second one. The third one we mentioned is Break Cold Nasty. I love this tool. I'm gonna do a breakout on all three of these tools. I've already did one on uh, work, zero work. And then the last one is going to be zero work you must own a zero work if you own any repetitive tasks for um sas tools or things of that nature so again i wanted to make this video quick and short if you want to see how actually using them all together again i'm going to do another uh video um using all four of them together i'm going to do that and see they're going to be on sas use case tv and a community channel or both it's going to be both so if you're going to want to get deeper in some of the things that i'm doing and not just surfacing and showing you videos you're going to have to subscribe to some of my other premium channels as i mentioned before 
I want to continue to do this, but I have to make it worth my while to take away from my normal business that I'm doing on a daily basis. A lot of people depend on to get information from me. So again, I do have a link to this entire uh, hack pack. You can click on that. That's going to be in the description. It's going to take you to all four of these in one particular sweat fail swoop, and you can pick up all four of these. I think if you picked up all four, it's probably less than $400, um, probably around $350, $400. I think you can pick up all four, but you could run a business. You could charge $4,000 for your first client or $1,000 for your first client and make that money back. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Hope you guys like this week's hack pack. Um, you guys take care. Got a lot of things coming up. Got a live stream coming up. Uh, I got two live streams coming up, and then I got one, uh, another founder interview i think two more founder interviews one of them may be community um if you join my private community you'll probably get access to that early and then we have the founders round table coming up where you'll be able to meet with founders and see what's going on hey this has been jenny jones hopefully you guys enjoyed uh this video take a look at this next video here goodbye for now don't forget to like and subscribe